Welcome back everyone to a new video. Today I have something special. It's the return of your, or at least of mine, favorite series. Juicecraft is back. And you already know, I have prepared something special for you guys. If you might have known, I've got my ghost pepper rank. Very cool, very cool. I'm proud of it. And therefore, Knight gave me an extra plot. Knight is the head admin of Juicecraft. And what do you do when you get an extra plot? You build something special on it. Uh, I've made gone a bit too crazy with this one. I'm sorry, but... Here we go. But damn, I'm proud on me on this one. This one looks very, very cool. Very stupendous is the word I would use for it. And uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just go in, I guess. So, it's roughly based off a map from World of Tanks. I don't know the name, since I only play Blitz and not World of Tanks PC. I do have it, but I suck at it. So, that's why I stick to Blitz, because I'm better at that. I only like playing games where I'm good at, you get the deal? But yeah, uh, yeah, let's start over here. Uh, here we have... The first thing I think was the Flak Gun. I don't know which specific variant of the flock this is, I just built this flock in from the Germans. And we have another trench over here, with a mortar. This is supposed to be an American mortar. Uh, yeah, just some trench guys vibing. And these guys are speechless by the grandiose size, because I built most of my things. 2 to 1 for some extra details because if I would need it for example this to Chinu we'll get on to that later but if I would have to build that one on one then I could fit much less detail into it and 2 to 1 gives some extra details uh, here we have some more guys in trenches uh, this guy over here fighting and stuff uh, yeah pretty cool just doing their own stuff some houses some storage stuff I mean, these houses are very basic, I mean, I, I did them from scratch, and they're only a small part, so yeah. But we have some cool armor stands over here, which are fighting a duel, as you can see, this one is having the high ground, sort of like the Anakin duel with Obi-Wan and Mustafa. This guy is full of death, and this is by far one of my favorites, because he's deflecting it, like a lightsaber, but not a lightsaber. Uh, over here we have some more trenches Some more guys doing their own stuff And we have another anti-tanker This is a French one I think Canon something, I don't know I don't speak French very well So I'm sorry if I mispronounce Canon uh, Here we have a German mortar This one is in grey And of course with the armor stand sending to it Just doing their own stuff And now we are getting Well so, no, we're doing the park first. The park is cool. Uh, over here we have a fight on the bridge. Because why not? Uh, an explosion over here. Pretty cool. Pretty detailed. Some more soldiers is vibing. Doing their own stuff. Here also this one got shot. By this one over here. This British soldier is running to cover. And here are some more people just doing their own thing. Having a chat. And here we get to our first tank, the Kirav Works 1 or the KV1. Uh, I think KV1 stands for Kirav Works. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But I'm not wrong about the fact that Kirav Works made the KV1. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting story with the KV1, if I do say so myself. But I think you guys aren't here for the history lessons, so let's just move on. We have a Panzer of the Lake here, because why not? In every war plot now, it's become a stereotype of mine. Uh, we have some more statues over here, which... Oh boy, do I love this. Just look at this. Amazing. Uh, next tank over here, we have a AMX 5120mm. 124 stands for the 120mm gun this thing has. And I like French tanks, I like AM mixes and all that fun stuff. So yeah, pretty cool tank. 
Over here we have a T29 American Heavy Tank. It's a pretty cool tank, if I say so myself. It reminds me of that nuclear power tank, you know, that ST8 or something like that. I don't know, I can't remember the name of that thing. But yeah, this one is pretty cool. Just look at that gun, man. I don't know much about the T29, because I don't know much about it. But from what I have heard, it's some, it was like the American Tiger. It was supposed to do all the Tiger 1, not Tiger 2. I think the Americans had something else with that, but... They rejected the T29 because it had it was too weak. It didn't have enough armor. It didn't have the good armament. But look at this gun, man. This gun looks monstrous. If I would see this thing turning around the corner, I would just straight up pack my things and get the hell out of here. Just look at that gun, man. Beautiful thing. Uh, we have some more skyscrapers over here. Heavily inspired by Green, thank you. I had no idea how to build skyscrapers. Let's redo that line. I had no idea how to make skyscrapers. There's some more houses. And we have a A34. Yeah, 34. I'm, I'm supposed to say A32. But that's a whole nother tank. A34 Comet. A British medium tank. Which, yeah, is kind of dead uh yeah we have well let's do the showdown first we have a is6 which was a soviet heavy tank which sadly didn't make it past prototypes and test units and we have a Löwe, which is a german super heavy which also well no it did not it only got drawn on papers it did not even get produced sadly because i like the love it was it's a cool thing it's a cool thing panzer 7 right panzer 7 love yeah pretty cool tank i like it i like the love uh we have a t34 mod 1942 which got ripped into pieces yes the turret the turret have been blown off over here we have an AMX Fosh. It pays off the AMX 50 if I'm not mistaken. But I know how you say AMX. I know how you say Fosh. Something like Fosh. I don't know how you say 50 in front. So AMX 50 Fosh. Yeah. Well, it's a cool tank. I like the Fosh. I, as I said, I like French tanks. So the Fosh, it's a very cool and 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 very unusual vehicle. Name one vehicle that looks like this. Yeah, you can. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, this here is another interesting vehicle. I did not even know that the thing existed. Now, I knew, but I forgot about it. M56 Scorpion. It's a tank destroyer. And yeah, it's, it's very unusual for a tank. I wouldn't even consider this a tank, but... It has the tracks, it has the turret, well not a fully traversable one. I think it's more like a tank destroyer, but without the tank part. It's more, it's just a destroyer. I'm proud of, that's, that's a good description, I'm proud of that. Excalibur, cause why not. Uh, here we have another AMX, AMX 3090. I've seen this one, it's a pretty cool tank. I've seen one, I've seen a running one as well seen one drive but if i'm not mistaken and uh that was a uh, amx 30 105 it had a 105 millimeter this has a 90 millimeter it's just fired and behind this is rt party the vespa a german artillery pretty cool pretty cool it's one of the first artilleries i've ever built because i'm not into arties here we have an American heavy tank, the M103, uh, pretty cool, which, uh, yeah, it doesn't look the best, I gotta be honest, but it's supposed like this, the end rod and the chain are shell, I think you guys can see that, but the glass is supposed to replicate like it's ricocheting off the tank, unfortunately, uh, we can't place end rods as RSS, because yes, the glass is just glass pane, Hold up by regular armor stand. 
because if we could uh, welcome friend but because if we could then I could make it much more realistic but this is the closest I could uh, make it but yeah M103 pretty cool tank looks like a potato and last but not least no not last we have a Chinu, 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 I don't know, there are many pronunciations, but I just like to call it Chinu, and not Type 3 Chinu or Chinu. Pretty cool tank, I like Japanese medium tanks, they're pretty cool, even though I don't know much about them. Uh, we have a Stuka plane, or it's based off the Stuka, which crashed into this building. Uh, oh, we have the Storm Gescutscht. Ausführung A or Stock Tree Aus A. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very low profile for a tank destroyer. But yeah, that's, that's what tank destroyers were made for. And that's basically it. Oh, we have this cool fountain. Yeah, that was worth mentioning. But yeah, uh, anyway, that was it for this plot. Uh, I'll see you guys in a few years again on Juice Quaff when I get a new plot. Because the next rank uh, slash ranks, yeah, it's not Carolina. It's not uh, the the rank is not coming anytime soon. So yeah, maybe I can convince Knight in uh, into getting me some more extra plots. But we'll have to see about that one. We'll see about that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the plot. Hopefully, it was worth the wait. Because oh boy. Well, out of all the plots, I did not have fun building this one. I don't know why. But yeah, it's done. I'm happy. I'm proud of myself from this one. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like and share.